For a while now, I've been looking to buy a trailer on Craigslist to build a tiny house. And somehow I ended up buying this 40 foot Bluebird All American prison bus. So this is a tour of the bus in its original state. I just wanna walk you through the bus and show you all of its features before I do anything to it. Uh, so up here you got the engine compartment and this is the driver's seat with the requisite million uh, knobs and buttons and things on the side. I've actually got this all figured out now. It runs pretty well. Uh, it's got intercom system and a few little features left over from the days of uh, running prisoners. Um, this is a list I found on the bus. 82 cuffs, two chains, 13 leg irons. And then this one over here is actually a list of prisons in the state. This must have been the route the driver took uh, with all the prisoners. All right, so up front behind the driver, you've got this big old lock box. And inside, is not a whole lot of stuff, just kind of some boxes and trash and whatnot. Um, but there is this box of papers, and uh, I want to go through these here in a second and show you what um, what these are. They're kind of interesting, but I'll do that in a second once I do a bigger kind of tour of the bus. Uh, you've also got a jump seat here for probably another guard or any passengers to ride on. And there's a phone system. There's actually three phones in the bus uh, that connect the driver to the two additional guards. And then this is the door separating the driver from the prisoners. And you can see it just slides open and shut and there's some plexiglass on here. Um, inside the bus, it is in really, really good condi condition. This is a 16 year old bus and there's not one bit of graffiti, not one tear on any of the seats or anything like that. Uh, these guys were chained up and handcuffed and so didn't have any freedom to move inside the bus. Uh, you know that because if you check out the evacuation procedures, um, in case of emergency, number one, stay seated. Two, bus security will remove chains. You will remain handcuffed. And three, passengers on the opposite side of the driver will be evacuated first. So over on this side, bus security will direct you to a safe area. So they were chained up in the bus and it shows the bus is in good shape on the inside. No cuts or tears or graffiti or anything. Uh, it does have a couple of um, uh, emergency exits. They pop open for fresh air and are watertight when they're closed. It's also got these two big old air conditioning units, one on either side. There's one there and one here. So it was uh, set up with AC and heat. Uh, that's because none of these windows open. They're all wedged shut from the outside. Not welded shut, but they're just little wedges on the outside that lock them shut. Uh, in the back, you've got a stainless steel commode, and that goes to a black water tank underneath, and there's also a water tank. And um, then there's this other area here for another guard. So this back guard would be locked up in the back, and uh, has a seat back here, emergency exit, and uh, let's see what else. There's a cup holder right here and a switch for a heater. That's a heater underneath this seat for the guard. And there's the other phone. So the guard in the back can talk to the guard up in front. There are 21 seats for prisoners. So that would make for about 42 prisoners here on the bus. So inside the lockbox here, there's this box of paperwork, uh, which I haven't looked through yet. This is a list of all the people who'd be on the bus, and I won't go through the particulars of these guys' names, but it's all dudes on this list uh, with prisoner ID numbers. Um, these, this is a disciplinary report. So this is the kind of thing the wardens would fill out. And uh, they had a couple of these. Actually, there was one in back and one in front. This is a transportation en route security checks. So this must have been a protocol that the, that the um, guards had to go through. It has inmate head count, 
cuffs checked, locking devices, time checked, comments, initials by the officer. I'm sure they filled out plenty of those. Risk management liability. Oh, this is a form you'd fill out if you had an accident, like an accident report form. Um, you just tear one of these off and put down the driver's social security number, etc. cetera. Uh, this is another list of uh, prisoner names and where they're going to the facilities they're going to. Uh, another accident procedure report. Here is the Central Transportation Procedures Manual from the Department of Corrections. I'm um, going through radio equipment, rules on transferring inmates, personal property of in inmates, emergency procedures, etc. Um, I have done a little bit of research on prison transportation and there are some pretty bad accidents recently where uh, prisoners have been injured. So these would have been regs to try to keep that from happening. Um, this is uh, material, I think it's about, oh this is just an emergency response book um, and another handbook from the DOC. Um, and this is a division of vehicles procedures. Looks like it's just all addresses of uh, administrators to contact. Uh, these are authorized fueling sites for the bus since it was in the state system. And this is a memorandum from the warden. And this is just looking outside the bus. Uh, there are some big old storage lockers under here which um, pop open and they're kind of skanked out and a little bit rusty but you've got some nice old prison blankets in there and some more papers in a bag um, this is kind of rusted out on the bottom this one is not all of them are this is the fuel door it takes 60 gallons of diesel if you want to fill it up and more of these storage lockers. These are in a lot better shape here and back. Then around this side of the bus, you've got the emergency exit. And this is the clean out for the uh, septic black water. This is your water for your RV, water, clean water, spare tire and uh, jumper cables in that compartment and these are um, batteries it's got a big battery here and four more batteries in this battery compartment so thanks for checking out my tour of this prison bus it has been a little bit of a surprise and a lot of fun in the coming months i will post more videos about my unfolding plans for the bus but in the meantime it's kind of cool just to think about its history and uh, all that has happened in this very storied space. Mm -hmm.